What's up y'all, Alvin here, and this is my new favorite piece of fishing gear. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> So what is this thing? This thing is the Gerber Hemo plier. Uh, I saw it online and it looked pretty cool. So I reached out to Gerber and asked them if they'd send me one so I could check it out. They did. First off, I have to tell you, they did not pay me to make this video and they will not see this video one second before you see this video. So these are my honest opinions about this little guy. I have to tell you right off the bat though, it is pretty cool. So it is a saltwater mitten clamp style plier. So it is corrosion proof. So you can use it for, you know, redfish, bonefish, probably tarpon even, whatever, and you don't have to worry about it rusting. It is a mitten clamp, so it's nice. You can, it's one-handed operation. If you've got mittens on, I don't wear mittens because I typically don't fish in cold weather. <laughs> but if that's something you do, that is a bonus. It's spring-loaded, so as soon as you squeeze them, they pop, they stay open. The main thing I like about them is they are a needle nose plier. So what happens a lot of times if you get a redfish or a bass and they get hooked deep, some of the fancy saltwater pliers, you just can't reach down in there deep enough to get the hook out. And these are nice and long, so you can reach down, close it around the hook, and then pull it out. It's pretty nice. So Gerber is known for their multi-tools, so most of the stuff they make has multiple functions, and this is no exception. So it is just your regular old hemostats, long nose, and you can reach down and grab hooks with that. But at the base of them, there's actually a set of serrated cutters, and these things are pretty beefy. I've cut some heavy mono with them, and they will cut braid, which is nice. Uh, moving a little bit further out, on the jaws, there's this flat spot here that's for smashing split shot. And then it's got some, some teeth here. I guess that's so you can grab stuff and hold on. And then the very end is pretty smooth. Now out here near the end, you'll see this little guy. And this is one of the cool features about it. This is for cinching down knots. So people will even have little loops on their skiffs so you can stick a hook in there and pull it to cinch a knot. That's what this is for. You can stick your hook in here and pull it to cinch a knot. It's really helpful on heavier mono. Make sure you get your knot seated well. So that's what that little deal's for. On the back here, it's got a pretty beefy eyelet clearing spike. So a little spike there so you can clear out the eyes of your hooks, whether you've got a jig or a fly that's got paint or glue in the eye or you're using something that you've used before and there's old mono in there, you can use that to clear the eyes out. It also has a little lanyard loop there or a hole to put a lanyard on it. Now I did stick it on a lanyard and wear it around my neck. It's a little heavy, so I wouldn't probably recommend that, but I would recommend attaching it to your person somehow or another, whether you put some type of retractor and put it on your belt so that it doesn't fall in the water. That's a nice additional feature to have. Uh, a lot of times I'll just attach mine to the center console with one of those little bungee things, you know, so I always know where they are and then I don't have to worry about dropping them in the water. And that's nice just to have that there for a little bit of extra security. Another little thing that I didn't really notice at first, but once I read the packaging, it pointed out that there, there's actually a little hook sharpener right here. It's pretty small. I would have liked to have seen something a little bit bigger, but it does work and it is nice to have that there. I usually carry a hook sharpener with me, but it's nice to not have to <laughs> dig through my box and find it because I'm probably going to have these pretty close by, if not on my person. So having the hook sharpener available to use at a moment's notice is really great. 
So all in all, this is a pretty cool little tool. It's 45 bucks, you know, so that's a lot cheaper than a lot of your nice saltwater pliers. And yeah, I would highly recommend this thing. I've been using it quite a bit. And, and like I said at the beginning of the video, it has become my favorite piece of fishing gear. Now, it's my newest piece of fishing gear, so who knows? <laughs> Something else may come along next week and that'll be my favorite piece of gear. If you wanna check this thing out, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, if you decide to buy it, you know, I'll get a few pennies, but it costs you the same. So if you use the link, that's cool. If you don't, that's cool as well. Thanks for watching the video. As always, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, all that YouTube stuff. I hope you're having a great day. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.